Hey everyone, this is Donnie with the Bronx Museum, and today we're going to talk about found poetry, or more specifically, blackout or erasure poetry. Now this is something I did with some school tours during the useless exhibit, because I think it's a really fun way to play with some of the inky robotics of it. And there was that amazing Stefano McClure piece, if you remember all the typewriter hands, right, all that inky blackiness that was happening. This is what we're going to do but with a sheet of paper, someone else's words, but our own poetry. So to start, all you need is a ripped out page from a magazine, a newspaper, it could be a piece of junk mail that your parents give you, anything that has some words on it, or even some pictures if you want to get a little collage with it. You'll need a marker. I'm using a Sharpie, but really any marker will do. I really like to use a black marker, but you're welcome to use any color you'd like. I have my trusty towel down, so that way I don't make a mess in case the Sharpie bleeds through the paper or in case I go off the lines a little bit. So it's just nice to have. So I'm gonna get started. And quite simply, what we're gonna do is look at whatever paper you have. My paper has a lot of words on it, so I might just focus up here on the big words, the title and the subtitle. So you're gonna choose whatever words you don't want in your poem, and you're gonna cross them out. You're gonna black them out. So right now, my poem just says, running the world, right? And that's kind of a fun thought. Now, this is hard for you. Sometimes it's pretty hard for me to choose which words I wanna get rid of and which I wanna keep. You can think back to kind of that mechanical, robotic attitude that that useless exhibit had. And maybe just pick every third word, right? You can count one, two, three, and cross it out. One, two, three, and cross it out, and go that way. That might be a little bit easier of a way to start for you. So I'm going to keep reading a bit. And I see in this article, it has someone's name, and I don't really need anyone's name in my poem. So I'm going to go ahead and cross that out. I'm gonna cross out the start of all this. So running the world started is what I have. I wonder what it started. Oh, I feel like I could use a little bit of calm right now and I have the word calmness, but I don't really want the whole word. So I'm gonna just cross out that any SS, which is totally loud. You're making the rules to this poem, so if you want part of a word, but not all the word, just black out, or blue out, or red out, or purple out, or whatever color you're using, just get rid of that. Running the world started, let's see, to calm and crave. So I'm getting rid of the D in craved. I'm just making it crave, like something you really want. I'm going to get rid of this picture too. See that? I don't really want that picture in my poem. All right. Ready? So here we go. If you remember how we started, I had all these big bold letters up there, the title and subtitle of this article. And I switched it up, I crossed it out, squiggled it out, and I made this blackout erasure poem, which reads, running the world started to calm and crave. So that's what I got. I'd love to see what you got.